So this is an end mill. In this video, we're gonna see if we can make this out of glass. Today, we're on the Walter Helatronic Power 400. This machine's a tool grinder that uses multiple diamond wheels in order to grind carbide, high-speed steel, and ceramic. But today, we're gonna kick it up a notch and we're gonna try our hand at grinding glass. So this material is ultra high temperature quartz. I've never ground glass before, so I'm curious to see how it's gonna work. Now, since we're using a diamond wheel, in theory, it should work, but let's go ahead and install it on a machine and we'll get grinding. So this material is one inch diameter. We're gonna use a single 1A1 wheel, a 1V1 wheel, and an 11V9 cup wheel to do the grinding. Now, these tool grinding wheels are available at our store at a discounted price at titansofcnctooling.com. The 1A1 wheel is going to give us our flutes. The 1V1 is going to do our gashing and the cup wheel is going to give us our clearances. But before we do any of that, we need to shorten up our stock. So let's go cut it. So I programmed our end mill using Tool Studio. When I calculated the minimum chucking depth, which is what I need to have sticking out of my chuck, it gives me a calculation of 3.323. So what I need to do is I need to cut my blank to five inches. That way I have an inch and a half of material located inside my chuck. I'm gonna set my calipers to five inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a score line using a diamond triangular file that I tactically acquired from Jesse. Set my calipers on. Just kind of give it a, okay. I've never really done this before, so I Googled it. So what it wants me to do is it wants me to make my score line get it a little bit wet, then I'm gonna take my diamond triangular file and I'm gonna locate on that score line and I'm gonna start to score it, creating a line in the material. Now, since this is a one inch diameter, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make a pretty deep score line on it. Give it a little rinse. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna snap it. And when you snap it, you wanna pull away from me. <laughs> Let's see how well it works. Back to filing, I guess. It's for the blooper reel, you know? Perfect. So, uh, that didn't work. Uh, that was just a pretty thick glass. If y'all know a better way to break it apart, I'd love to do a one inch one of these. But, good thing I ordered some half inch stuff. We're gonna try it again with the half inch rod. Now, why couldn't the other one be that easy? Let's go ahead and change out our chuck and get to grind it. All right, let's grind. This is the first time at Titans of CNC we're cutting glass. Let's get started. So our first operation is gonna be a fluting operation. And what's gonna happen is that wheel's gonna come down and it's gonna rotate, creating our flutes. So the StarTech RC wheel is a roughing wheel. It's made for roughing out carbide. You can go up to eight inches a minute, but since I'm grinding glass and I've never actually done it before, I actually slowed my feet way down. So I'm only going two inches a minute. What I'm nervous about is coming at the end of that flute and that glass is so brittle that it's just gonna snap off. So what I'm doing is I'm approaching and then I'm letting the wheel start to eat into the glass. And then as I get full contact, it's gonna start rotating in. So on my second wheel pack, I've got a 1V1 and an 11V9. So the 1V1 is known as a gashing wheel. This is gonna be an angled wheel. So it has four different gashes, and what it's gonna do is that wheel's gonna come in and hit the face of that end mill, creating a gash. It's gonna come out, rotate, to all four gashes. Tied to the same wheel pack is gonna be an 11V9, which is the cup wheel. Cup wheels are for clearance. So we got primary OD clearance and secondary OD clearance. That's what's gonna give you the lip on the outside diameter of that end mill. And it's grinding the clearances located on the side of that end mill. After it completes this, it's actually gonna come around and rotate and it's gonna create the end face clearances. And that's honestly my favorite part. Oh, 
check that out the world's first glass end mill that thing is beautiful now you might be wondering why we did that but i'm gonna ask you why not that is so cool you want to see if it's gonna work all right let's go pass these off to barry so he can do some test cuts barry i got you a gift buddy Ooh. oh i'm gonna have fun with these Yes. Recently, we just did 2,000 inches a minute over on the Heller. Today, Chris gave me this glass end mill. Now, with my history in cutting tools, I think we all know what's about to happen to this thing, but we won't know till we try it. So let's get it in the holder and find out. Please note safety glasses before I attempt to tighten this. All right, if we're not breaking records, we're breaking end mills. All right, Chris, let's see what this glass end mill can do. Hmm. Epic fail. My work of art, man. It's a don't work of art. All right, we'll try plunging in wood nice and slow to see if we can actually get it to work. Let's see if this sucker can cut wood. <laughs> it can't even cut wood, Chris. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you ain't going to sell too many of these. <laughs> All right, Chris, this is your last chance for redemption. Yeah, start a fire. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, on the way out. Ooh, smells woody. You thought getting a broken tap out was hard. Well, I hope you're better at sweeping than you are at inventing new end mill technology. <laughs> now, obviously a glass end mill isn't the best choice to use as a cutting tool, but that doesn't mean we can't be creative in our trade. This experiment really highlighted the capabilities of a Walter Helitronic Power 400 and Tirolet grinding wheels. By the time this video is uploaded, this project is going right on CNC Expert. Make sure you drop us a like, subscribe, and check out our Discord. We'll see you on the next one.